Welcome back to my channel, Matlang Language, and we're going to discuss significant figure, rules, and rounding. Let's start with the rules, significant figure rules. So rule number one, all non-zero numbers are significant. So pag basta hindi siya zero, significant figure siya. So for example, yung 398, 398. So that will be one, two, three. Number of significant figures, three. Next example, pana pag 612. So that will be 1, 2, 3 then. Next one, pana pag 19. So bilang nyo lang. So 1 and 2. Two significant figures. Next one is 8. So one number lang siya. That will be one significant figure. And lastly, 5,168. Four numbers siya. 5,168. And four siya. Easy, right? Rule number 2. Zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. Basta pag nasa sandwich siya, o napagkikitnaan, yung zero, matik yun. Significant figure din siya. Ika-count mo siya as significant. So, we have here, yung zero nandito, zero. Kaso, nasa gitna siya, uh, nasa sandwich. So, three. One, two, three. Number of significant figures, three. Next one, 6,015. So, nasa, sa gitna yung zero na mga non-zero digits. So, 6015, apat. Next one, 1001. Yung dalawang zero, nasa gitna. So, counted siya as a significant figure. So, apat din. 20,005. Yung tatlong zero, nasa gitna ng non-zero digit. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five significant figures. And lastly, 90,065. May zero tayo kasi nasa gitna siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five significant figures. Rule number three. Leading zeros are not significant. So, ano ba yung mga leading zeros na yun? Leading zeros mo yung nasa kaliwa. So, meron tayo dito. Zero, zero point ninety-eight. So, hindi mo kakount tong zero na to. So, ang significant figure mo lang ito. Nine at eight. One, two. Next one, 0 0.0015. So, di mo kakount tong tatlo na to. Tatlong zero na to. 1 and 5, dalawa lang. 0 0.01, we have 1, significant figure. And 0 0.1, yes, also 1 then. And lastly, paano pag 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 98, walang decimal point. So, 9 and 8 lang yung ikakount mo as significant figure. Hindi naman napagitnaan yung zero. So, two significant figures tayo. Rule number four. Trailing zeros to the right of the decimal are significant. Check natin. So, trailing zeros, natin na sa kanan ng decimal. Mm -hmm. To the right of the decimal are significant. Basta trailing zeros to the right of the decimal. Okay? So, pwede rin trailing zeros to or not the right of the decimal. So, meron tayong dalawang zero. Yung isang zero dito na pagitnaan ng non-zero digit. So, counted siya. At yung zero na to, dahil nasa kanan siya ng decimal point, nasa kanan, counted siya as significant. So, one, two, three, four. Four significant figures. Next one. 62.0. Again, yung trading zeros, basta yung nasa kanan. At uh, sabi dito, nasa kanan ng decimal point are significant. So, counted to. 1, 2, 3. 3 significant figures. Next one. What if we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00? So, ang leading zeros, itong dalawa, itong nakapula, at uh, meron tayo 35.00. Meron tayong dalawang zero dito na nasa kanan ng decimal point. So, counted siya. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four significant figures. Next one, we have 100.00. So, dahil dito, uh, yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Itong dalawa na to, nasa kanan ng decimal point. So, counted siya as significant. Although, itong... 0 na to, di naman siya nasa kanan ng decimal point. Kaso may significant figure dito. Masasabi mo na significant din to. So, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. 
So we have five significant figures. Next one, paano pag 1.0? Nasa kanan yung, sa kanan ng decimal point to. So that will be two, two decimal, sorry, two significant figures. Rule number five, trading zeros in a whole number with the decimal shown are significant. So makakapasin mo, okay, ang weird naman, decimal point lang, kaso wala lang kasunod. So in trading zeros like this one, 9, 8, and 0, kaso dahil may decimal point dito, significant din tong 0 na to. Basta tandaan nyo, dapat may decimal point. Kung ang nakalagay lang dyan ay 9, 8, and 0, walang decimal point. So ang significant figure mo lang ay itong 9, 8. So, bilangin natin yung mga significant figures. We have 1, 2, and 3. Kasi may decimal point. Next one. 3,200 with decimal point. So, count mo lahat. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next one. 10,000 with a decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, we have 10 and a decimal point. So, 1, 2. And lastly, 7,050 is 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal point. Apat. Okay, let's go to rule number 6. Trading zeros in a whole number with no decimal shown are not significant. So, for example, 980. Kaso dito naman, wala siyang decimal point. Unlike kanina. So, ang kukunin mo lang na significant value, a significant number, Figures ay itong dalawa, 9 and 8. So, that will be 2. Next one, 3,200. Walang decimal point. At uh, 0 to, trading 0 siya. 3 and 2 lang yung kakaunt mo as significant figures. So, dalawa. 10,000. Um, ay apat ng 0 ka. At trading 0 siya, wala siyang decimal point. So, that will be 1 lang. 10. Walang decimal point. So, 1 lang yung ka-count natin na significant figure. So, 1 only. 7,050. Yung isang 0 dito na na-sandwich siya ng 2 non-zero digit. So, that's counted uh, counted siya as significant figure. At dahil dito naman, dahil lalaman decimal point, and it's a trading 0, so hindi mo siya ka-count. So, 1, 2, 3. We have 3 significant figures. Rule number 7, paano pag scientific notation? So, n times n n times 10 to the x all digits comprising n are significant by the first six rules so ito daw tong 10 and x hindi mo siya siya ikakaunt as significant example na lang tayo what if we have 1.10 times 10 to the third power 10 cube so hindi mo agad ikakaunt tong 10 cube na to so lahat ng nakalagay dito sa kaliwa counted yet as significant. 3. Correct. Next one, 12.100 tapos 10 to the 5th power. Hindi mo ka-count to. May lima tayo dito. 5. Next one, 5.6020. So, di mo lang papansinin to. Bilangin mo lang. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7.00 times 1 and 10 to the 7th power. Huwag mong pasinin yung scientific not, uh, notation yan. We have 3. 1, 2, 3. Next one. 1 1.00 times 1 and 10 to the 8th power. We have 1, 2, 3. That looks significant figures. Now, let's have some exercises. So, uh, this one, 851, ilan yung number of significant figures? You may want to pause the video naman if you want to try it. So, I'll give the answer na. 851, that will be... Check natin. 851, that will be 3. 205, nasa gitna yung 0. So, pwede siya, counted siya. 3. 4, 0, walang decimal point. No decimal point, so, kakaunt ko lang yung 4. 1. 600, na may decimal point. Yes, counted tong mga 0 na to. So, that will be 3. 600 ng walang decimal point, so ikakount mo lang yung, num yung number 6. 0 0.001. Ikakount mo lang ito. Hmm. 10.001. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nasa gitna yung mga 0. So, automatic yan. Significant figure siya. 1.10 times 10 cube. 
hindi mo isasama yung scientific notation. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 lang. And we have 20,605. Nasa gitna yung mga zero. So, counted sila. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 0, 0, 1, 1, 5, 0, 6.001. So, hindi mo kakount tong dalawa na to. At yung mga zero nasa gitna na. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, ito na yung sagot. Alright, so let's move on to rounding significant figures. So, paano ma mag-round ng significant figures? So, una, ilalocate mo muna kung saan yung significant figure na yun. The first non-zero digit is the first significant figure. Next one, tinan mo yung next digit dun sa kanan. Kung 5 or more siya. Kung 5 or more, then mag-round up tayo by adding 1 to the previous digit. Kung hindi naman, less than 5, then mag-round down tayo, keeping the previous digit the same or as is lang. So let's have some examples. Around 8,305 to one significant figure. So that will be, check muna natin yung mismong number. So one significant figure lang, so ito yung pinaka, titignan muna natin, yung pinaka sa kaliwa. So 8. So dahil one lang, so harang na tayo, check natin yung next digit, 3. Less than 5 siya. So, hindi tayo mag-round up. Round down siya. And that uh, final answer will be 8,000. Next, round 0 0.007039 to 2 significant figures. Hindi naman significant figure tong 0 at 0 na to. At, uh, syempre, una natin tingnan na ay ang 7. At dahil 2 significant figures, so 7, 7, 0. So, cut na natin to. Ang next digit ay 3. Dahil less than 5 siya, so mag-round down tayo. That will be 0 0.0770. Next round, 24.753 to 3 significant figures. Check my number. We have 2, 4, 7 here. So boundary na. Ang next digit ay 5. Dahil 5 or more, mag-round up tayo. So itong 7 magiging 8 na. The final answer will be 24.8. More examples. Paano kaya ito? Around 0 0.00514890 to 3 significant figures. So, hindi na counted to mga 0 na to. Start ka sa 5. 1, 2, 3. Cut. Next digit ay 8. So, that 5 or more siya. Magiging 5 na to. So, that will be 0 0.00515. Next one, round 4.7041294 to 3 significant figures. So, ang una mo significant figure ay 4. 1, 2, 3. Stop. Ang next digit mo ay 4. Dahil less than 5 siya, mag-a-add. I'm oh, sorry, hindi tayo mag-a-add. So, as is lang siya. So, ang final answer is 4.70. Next, round 26,462, 1 significant figure. So, pinakaunang significant figure mo ay 2. So, cut na tayo. Ang next digit ay 6. So, dahil more than 5 siya, magiging 3 na to. And the final answer will be 30,000. Now, just in case you may encounter, paano pa ganito? Around 20,005 to 2 significant figures. So, start tayo sa 2, 1, 2. Tapos, cut na. Tapos, uh, dahil 0 siya, Mag-around down na tayo. Hindi tayo mag-around down. So, that will be 20,000. Okay, sir, saan nang galing itong bar na to sa taas? Ang um, sinasabi lang na to na nag-estimate tayo at itong pangalawang digit na to ay significant. So, ito ay mga bar sa mga ano lang yan, sa zero, pag sa mga significant figures. Hmm. Isa pang example. Around 301,000 5 to 4 significant figures. So, bilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4. Cut. Uh, 0 to less than 5. So, hindi tayo mag-round up. And again, that will, the final answer will be, will be 301,000. At may bar dito kasi yung hindi sabihin nun, 1, 2, 3, 4. Significant ba to? Hmm. At ito hindi na. Nagagalagay tayo ng bar dun sa 0 pag sinasabing 
nag-estimate ako, tapos yung zero na to ay kasama sa significant figure, sa bilang ng significant figure. So, let's have some exercises. You may want to pause the video naman, then uh, para matas nyo kung naintindihan nyo yung lesson. So, I'll start with the first example. 172 round to number significant, round to one significant figure. So, ito yun, one. At dial seven siya, round up. That will be that will be 200. Mm -hmm. so. Next, 74. Round 2, one significant figure. 7 siya. Cut mo sa 4. So, di tayo mag round up. 7. 70 lang. 80.62. 1, 2, 3. Cut. Less than 5. So, 80.6 pa rin. Next, 0 0.066. One significant figure. So, 6. And cut ka dyan. That will be... 0 0.07 Next, 0 0.256 Round to 2 significant figures 1, 2, cut But dial more than More than 5 to That will be 0 0.26 Next one, 4.282 1, 2, 3, cut 3 significant figures So, 4.28 that will be dial 2 to magiging 4.28 lang. Hindi ka mag-round up. Next, 0 0.0028. So, ito yung minakauna mong significant figure. Hindi itong mga 0. Dahil 8 to, round up ka. Magiging 0.003. Nagdaglagan yung 2. Next, 3.821. Ang una mong significant figure ay 3. Cut na tayo. At ang, eight, ang next digit, dahil 8 to more than 5, magpo plus 1 kasi 3. That will be 4. Next, 10,006. Round 2, num 3 significant figure. So, 1, 2, 3. Dito na tayo. Cut. Dahil less than 5 ang 0. So, magiging 10,000. And don't for, forget the zero. I sorry, the bar here. Kasi, uh, katulad kanina, sabi ko, just in case you may encounter, pag nag-estimate na tayo, gusto nyo lang sabihin na nag-ano ako, nag-estimate ako. Nag-estimate uh, nag ka, sabi yung zero na may bar sa taas, significant pa rin to. Significant figure siya. Counted as significant figure. Next one, 19,085.23. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cut. Ang next digit ng 5 by 2, dahil less than 5 siya. So, ang final answer mo ay 19,085. Let's check the answers. Okay, so dapat may bar dito. Hmm. 270.6 and so on. And that's the end of the lesson on how to find the number of significant figures sa isang number. As in the rules, at paano mag-round. Mag-round up or round down ba tayo pag binigay na yung number of significant figures. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or to my assignment queue, I'll do my best to answer that one. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe and also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng Math and Language. Thank you and goodbye!